Hey everyone, I'm Nog, and welcome back to Satisfactory. Now, in between episodes, a lot of stuff has happened. Uh, one of the things is that I have enclosed most of our iron plate, uh, or iron smelting facility, sorry. Uh, but that is not all. Uh, I have gone ahead and gotten ready to send off our space elevator, so that we can unlock the next uh, tiers. So let's go and do that, and I will take you through everything that has happened in between episodes uh, after we do that, and we unlock a milestone. So let's have a look here. So we need 500 modular frames and 150 motors, which we have. So let's load this baby up. There we go. Seal it. And send it. And have a look at it as it goes. I love this animation. Pow! Off it goes. Alright. Base elevator is set. So what does that do for us? Well, it unlocks tiers 5 and 6, which is really, really nice. Because tiers 5 and 6 hold oil processing. And all refineries and uh, we really want uh, oil uh, power or fuel power. So that is very, very nice. And we will uh, get this unlocked uh, soon as well, but not just yet. We also unlock the truck, which is very nice, and we will get that unlocked soon as well, but not just yet. Uh, expanded power infrastructure, that is an important one, but that is insanely expensive and we do not have the materials for it. The jet, the jet pack, Oh yes, but again, insanely expensive. We just can't do it right now. The gas mask, insanely expensive, just can't do it right now. What I have done is I have unlocked the color gun. So we have uh, the ability to paint our buildings, uh, but that is not that interesting right now because right now the MAM is interesting. So let's have a look at the MAM and see what our latest hard drive uh, gives us. So, we have an alternate blueprint for rotors. Uh, what's the original? Uh, three iron rods and 22 screws. And instead we could do 20 wire and six uh, pipes. Or three rotors. And uh, three rods and 22 screws is only one. So it's a 33% increase in production rate as well. So that's maybe interesting. So let's have a look at this one. So Caterium wire we could do, which is instead of 60 per minute, it's 90 per minute. And instead of just costing one uh, Caterium ingot for four, um, quick wire, we need a Caterium ingot and two copper ingots. That might actually not be half bad as well. That might not be half bad because we don't use copper for that much. So that could be pretty darn nice. And then we have the heavy modular frame, which is normally five frames, 15 uh, pipes, five encased industrial beams, and 90 screws for one frame, two per minute. And the alternate is eight frames, 10 encased industrial beams, 36 pipes, and 25 concrete for three. And the production speed is a little bit increased. So we're definitely using less materials 
we do this? Definitely. Hmm. Which one do I want? I'm leaning towards the alternate for quick wire. Right now. This one is very nice as well. And so is the rotor one. I guess the rotor one is the first one that we're really gonna build, so. But. Do I really need this? I mean, every time we choose something where we're using wire, we're using more of our copper or, or copper ingots. So. Hmm. Let's do the quick wire. Confirm. And then we have down here we have another four hard drives. So let's stick another one in there and get that going. A hard drive. Get in there. Whoops. Hard drive. Get analysis. Ten minutes. Whoops. And stick that in there again. So we have some computers and we have some heavy modular frames. Oh, yeah. Okay. But we also want to unlock uh, a tier. And what I want to unlock is Logistics Mark 3. So we need 25 modular frames and 50 motors. And I actually have that because I have been doing the insanely interesting task of doing a bit of hand crafting. So I do have some. So, and now I forgot how many it was. Is this enough? Uh, logistics, yes it is. So let's select that milestone and stick all of the stuff in there. And then I think we'll take a quick run around our uh, bases and see what I've been doing in between episodes. Watch that, and that'll take 12 minutes. Milestone reached. Logistics yeah. have improved by the means of a container with increased storage Need capacity buildings. and enhanced conveyor belt efficiency. So we have the improved storage. Is he off? Yes, he is. The industrial storage. So oh, that's pretty nice, but we can't really build that yet because it costs materials that we're not really producing yet. Uh, let's see, also logistics. We have new conveyor belt Mark 3 and conveyor lift Mark 3, which we also really can't use that much yet because we're not making uh, steel beams. But that takes us into a bit of what I have been doing in between episodes. So as I mentioned, one of the things is I have basically walled in uh, the bottom level here of the uh, iron smelting facility. Uh, and the whole thing has been walled in, uh, more or less. Uh, I need to put some more foundations up here to do it, but that's okay. So that's done. And we're going to paint that at some point. I have made a color gun as well and turned all our flower petals into cart cartridges. Uh, I forgot to show you that over at the, uh, the hub. But that's just a very small part of what I've been doing. So let's run over here and have a look. As we're going, I'm going to try to pick up the pace a little bit. I realize it's been a bit slow because we've been building all of these huge facilities. And I've actually come to the realization that some of them don't really need to be as huge as they are. I set up a small iron rod production facility uh, here. Uh, temporarily and it's uh, doing some pretty okay job work let's just grab a few while we're here ah, just take all we have room for it right now and I basically I've just siphoned off from from one uh, miner going into a smelter and going into two uh, constructors and going into a box or container 
so yeah. Not very interesting. However, over here we have a new truck station and a new platform. And this truck station is bringing in coal. And it's already full. And if we run down here, we can see that the coal is down in this hole. You can see the belt going all the way down there and into the forest. And it's down of this big, uh, well, I would call it a crater really. So let's call it a crater. And if we run down there and take a look real quick, nice with the uh, blade runners it makes everything a little bit faster so almost there and down here we have a little setup of two mark two miners mining coal oh so, yeah And all of that coal is, of course, being brought up to our truck station. So let's get back up there. And it's not pretty with this long curved or, let's say, snaked uh, conveyor belt. But it is what it is. And I'll live with it. It's not something somewhere we'll be going very often and uh, it's functional and functional is more important than beauty at least right now and i just realized that down at the iron rod production that i set up i haven't actually shown you that i hooked up all of these four these are impure uh, iron notes so they're only producing 60 with Mark II miners, but we have four of them, so that's 240, and if we overclock them, then we're up to 480, or 450 as we want it to be, because that's all our builds can handle, right? And they are all coming together, the first two of them are coming together here, then those two are coming together with these two, and they are all going up to this uh, container, and this um, truck station which is full of ore so we have a coal station and a iron ore station so that means that we could potentially produce some steel ingots and I have set up a little facility down here Just see it in the mist, maybe. But I have set up a little facility here. There we go, now you can see it for sure. And that is going to be our steel uh, ingot facility. So, here we have uh, output of iron on the first one. There's nothing in there right now. Then we have oh no, this is a this is a iron. This over here is coal. And then we have the pickup of steel ingots. And I just I haven't set up any uh, tractors yet uh, for this, but I just uh, brought some iron and uh, iron ore and coal down to the. Um, the facility and if we go over here here we have our production oops and we have five machines lined up right now for producing steel ingots and if we can get up top come on there we go so we can see that they need 45 iron ore and 45 coal per minute so that means that uh, one full belt of uh, 450 can support 
10 machines, but they only output 30. So we need three lines of these to produce two full lines of steel ingots. And that's what I've made room for down here. We can have a 10 machine long line here or foundry long line here. And then we can have a 10 line here and a 10 line over here. And everything is fine and dandy. And it'll all come over here to our output. And be picked up by trucks going to wherever uh, the stuff is needed. So yeah, this took quite a while to build also because I have I will have the, um, the entrance of the trucks will be here, right? And this is a, a realization that I've come to that I can just bring them up here. Oh, sorry. Bring them up here and then one of them can just go in here and it can go over under all of the uh, iron ore unloading or coal unloading facilities. So, and it'll just, if the first one is full, then the next one will pick it up. And the, if the second one is full, then the third one will pick it up and so on. So that's pretty nice. They can just go in and just plow through because they don't actually need to stop to be unloaded. They just need to graze the, the hitbox of, of the truck station. And we can just keep going and go out here and go back to wherever we came from. And it's the same here with the, the other drop-off that we are doing for coal or iron, I don't remember. Coal, it is, no iron, it is here. And it's the same for, for the pickup. We can just come in and pick up from the first truck station, the second truck station, the third start truck station, and so on. And if, uh, if it's full, it's full, then it won't pick any more up. If it's not full, then it will just pick up from all of the uh, iron ingot stations and move on so that is pretty cool i think so that is one realization that i have come to that we can do it like that and i really like that and that is one thing that i didn't realize when we were up here building the other uh, facilities like the iron smelting the uh, iron plate production the screw production and so on that we don't actually need as much space for the uh, the truck station as I was thinking, because I have left room, two foundation space of room, on the sides of the uh, the truck station, so that the trucks can come in and pull out and not hit the other truck stations, right? But in this case, it doesn't matter because here we have iron ingots. If we have five truck stations of iron ingots, we can just send a truck in, pick up, and it can just go down the line of five truck stations and until it's full and move on. And it's the same with the drop off of, uh, of uh, iron ore. Once we get that going, if they can just drop, drop it in all of the, the truck stations, fill them up uh, as they go along, right? So, yeah, uh, that's, and it's the same for, for the uh, iron plate production and the screw production. We can just do the same thing. However, whoops, almost got run over here. Over here, it is a problem. Uh, we actually have a big problem over here because all of these are going to be different, right? Or at least some of them are. I mean, we have, if we go over on the other side here, we have iron plates here and we have screws here. And if the truck comes in with screws here and it accidentally goes out and hits the hitbox of the iron plate and there's room in the iron plate and the truck has screws in it, it will offload screws into the iron plate truck station. And that's not good. So I think we need to change the whole setup that we have here with our truck station somehow and i have an idea on how to do it we won't be able to do it today but i have an idea on how uh, i want to to get that set up so uh, we'll be doing that in a not so distant future 
So yeah, but the others, they're actually using much less space or much more space than they have to uh, for truck stations. But okay, we I think we are done with our uh, ma'am. Yes, we are. So let's take a look here. We have the rotor again. We have modular frame, which is again a third as fast. So three instead of three reinforced iron plates, it takes six. And instead of six iron pipes, it takes six steel or iron rods. It takes steel, six steel pipes, but it produces three modular frames. That could be interesting. And the rotors we know, and the heavy modular frame one we've seen before as well, actually. Um, I'm not sure. I'm thinking the heavy modular frame. Let's do that. Let's do the heavy modular frame. And we still have some hard drives, so let's get another one in there and begin the analysis. Let's start. Okay, so let's see. We unlocked the logistics, so that is very good. We can start making 270 per minute belts, which I really, really want to get going as soon as possible. What I really want is uh, the Mark IVs, right? That, that's the highest tier belt we can have right now, and those are the ones that we really want. But we just don't have the materials to research this one right now. I mean, handcrafting this would be insane, right? Uh, maybe. Maybe I am insane. I'll see. Uh, okay, so what we could do is unlock uh, explosives, which might be fun, and with, it will give us five extra inventory slots and an arm slot. Or we could unlock the explorer, which would give us the explorer, which would be really nice and fun, I think. So let's see. Do, have anything else we do need to unlock overclock production uh, but we can always do that I, I think I'll do that in between I mean it's not that interesting could do the rebar gun but I've actually never tried it but it looks pretty bad when I uh, from what I've seen uh, explosives blowing stuff off is up is always fun or that or going over here because we actually I think we actually have what it takes to unlock this stuff and maybe even get our truck because then we could start setting up the trucks instead of the tractors which would be outstanding I think that's what we're going to do. Let's uh, unlock oil processing. 75, 75, and a whole lot of more stuff. Okay, so let's see. And we can do that. We need some cable, a lot of cable, I think we need it. And we need some wire, which we luckily have right here. And we needed what 3000 wire i forgot to select the mind milestone uh, yeah we have 3000 wire we actually have four so let's see tier five oil processing select that milestone and get stuff in there wire there we go, cable, there we go, and launch that puppy, all right, and milestone reached, oil acquisition well. and refining unlocked, oil based products can now be made, 
Caution, this is a reminder to minimize the chance of expiration during out-of-base activities. And off the pod body goes. Excellent. Right, so we have unlocked that. And that will take 12 minutes to return. And after that, I think what we want to unlock is industrial manufacturing. But that is going to have to be in the next episode, guys. Uh, we are basically out of time. So, uh, yeah, uh, we didn't make that much progress in this episode. We didn't build much, but we have made lo a lot of progress. And it's nice to get the hard drives going, unlocking the tiers and sending off the space elevator and stuff. And I think maybe next time we will rebuild the whole central storage hub here, or we will go and start setting up oil, which we know that we have over here somewhere because we already found it by accident. So, uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff to do yet, guys. So uh, keep coming back for more. But uh, that's it for this time. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and maybe subscribe. And I'll see you next time.